Scott was definitely hoping that his mother wouldn't find out that he was a werewolf, but with all the stuff that's going on, it's kind of hard to keep that a secret, and I think we knew he had to face it eventually. I think with her knowing now, it, it could actually open that world back up, you know, relationship-wise. Maybe if they could finally talk about it, you can, you know, be like, oh my god, so I'm a wolf. I have claws now. He has no idea. That's why the soap and the showers. Um, I think at first Melissa's, you know, still in shock that Scott's a werewolf, but I think she'll soon learn that everything that Scott does is for good, and she'll accept him. I hope. I think Victoria's death woke Allison up to the gravity of the situation and the fact that sometimes love isn't enough. I think that Allison will never look at werewolves the same. You know, she thought that Scott was the exception to the rule. And I think that after what she thinks happened to her mom, that she was bitten by Derek. I think she'll never really look at him the same. Victoria's death will affect Scott and Allison's relationship because Allison feels responsible to take her mother's role in her family. For Allison, that means go to your family's roots and, and start training to be a hunter, which isn't good for Scott. I heard there was a party. Don't worry. I invited myself. The fact that Peter is back is just one more thing. It's just, it's, everything continues to pile on, and now it's not the Kenema, it's not the Hunters, it's also Peter, and it's just, it's a, such an overwhelming realization for Derek to have to come to. Peter Hale is back. He is the kind of bad guy who just doesn't seem to die. And what we wanted to do was create an even greater conflict for Derek. Peter says he wants to help, um, but I think if we learn anything from season one, then an alpha, you kind of want to be the alpha, so we'll see.